petty criminal with few prospects in life. <laughs> I'll just RP myself. Oh, interesting. So the difficulty of the game is more or less dependent on how prepared your character was. I see myself as a heedful refugee. Nightingale, the latest survival crafting game to hit the market. With this genre popping off right now, I've been eagerly looking forward to playing this game. A big thank you to Inflection Games for sponsoring today's video. Nightingale is now available on PC, which you can grab for $30 on Steam or Epic. It features up to six player co-op, and to get a good idea of what the game has to offer, I wanted to share with you my first experience with Nightingale. I was immediately greeted by a cinematic with promises of what's to come, some of them enticing, some of them what in the name? Terrifying. It helped to know where I would be headed because, as you do with every survival game, you start from much humbler beginnings. Our first realm, the unknown realm. Everything's unknown to me, so that doesn't really stand out, but alright. Let my word. Steer your steps. God? I had to. Show haste, human. No, I don't think so. What better way to start an adventure than with some horrified screams and earth shaking booms? I come with an offer to guide you to a safer realm. That's so kind of you, Puck. Take these bloodstained cards. What? Play them why are they bloodstained? Let amiable why are they bloodstained, Puck? Why are we just... Why are you just... Fleshling. Going right... Glossing over that? Give me your hands. No. Ya -ta -ta -ya. Oh, that was a nice little ditty. Who knew traversing worlds was as easy as making a garden machine? Play this card to seek a realm of lush with forest. The byway. To seek a small transient realm. That one doesn't make as much sense to me, but I understand the forest. Fly, realm walker. The yeah, fiends who? have caught your despair. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Okay, wait. I don't think it was that bad. One thing was evident. I needed to shower. I needed to scrub this horrifying stench from my body, lest I want these hell fiends to chase me forever. Do note that's not actually a game mechanic. And we have indeed fa found ourselves in a forest with Pox. Dude keeps following me around. Take reprieve from misery and gorge yourself with a feast. Aha! Food. Gotcha. I can do that. And there he goes. Raw berries. Okay. This might be my first time playing Nightingale, but I already know what I'm getting into. We're going to start with berries, but then next up, they're going to have me collecting sticks and stones. Bet. Eat the raw berries. <laughs> All right. Yep. Rocks, sticks, and raw berries. Two, of course, make ourselves a campfire. A hallmark of the survival genre. It's a simple way to get players interacting with the world and to show them quickly they can progress from a primitive survival life to a cushy, advanced manner in no time. Or so I thought. Oh, wildlife. Hey, hi. Come on. Come on. Okay. Look, berries will sustain me only for so long. You're next up on the menu, but... Oh, we got like a little, little blueprint screen going on here. I like this. Okay, seven sticks gets me three and a half minutes uh, burn time. Sure. Craft. And just like that, it makes it seem magical, but really, it's just cooking. Love me a tutorial that's returned to- Oh, God! Okay. The portal stands A nearby. portal. Okay, wow, this really is just like a interim world. I, I'm on to the next- Oh. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Give me my wood back. I'm moving on, bro. Call me crazy. I'm gonna assume this is the portal. Looks very portal-y. So I lied, actually. The wildlife here is free. Throw them the lands for now. Otherwise, oh, let me tell you. And we walk the realms. I'm gonna say name drop, but it's Nightingale. Where we're trying to get. I can already see what's going on here. They're moving us through worlds quick and dirty, like we're some child they're embarrassed of. Not that I would know what that feels like. But they want us to start realm walking. And so that's exactly what we began to do. Or again, so I thought. I'm hot. Oh boy. All right. Make this quick, Puck. Uh, I'm dying. Oh, look at that. Very quick. If you just hop into the shadows, it's cooler. Whoa, what a construct. Build a stick tent. Do I keep my inventory between realms? That I do. Whoa, what the fudge? Okay. Uh, hard pass for me on that one, buddy. Just kidding. A smash. Don't you gurgle at me. <laughs> stick tent. Have it away from the sun. Let's point it south. And east, I don't know. Real survival situation? I ain't making it, okay? Well, do you think they're friendly? Hello? 
Okay, maybe not uh, aggressive until aggressed upon. Where's the uh, the food? Y you didn't leave me much here, Puck. It's almost as if, in fact, you left me a whole lot of nothing. If I'm if I'm being honest with you, I'm stuck in the desert. Who could have seen this coming? What are those things? I'm not too sure. I want to find out. So naturally, I'm going to throw hands. Come here. What are you? Come here. Oh, I didn't like that. Ooh. It's running away. Wait, did I? What if I thought? I don't even know what you are, you teapot looking. Stop it. Fancy China. I don't. Ah, come here. Oh, what is that? Ow. All right. Come on. Take this. <sighs> Oh, but are you a miner? Oh, uh, perhaps in my base, I can get some automatons to work for me. Okay. Turns out I won't be getting automatons to be helping me out. However, I will get something or someone instead. What? Wow, what the fudge, bro? I'm not... Wh Chill, what? Why? Are you mad I took your one stick? Like, get a life, man. She's a beaut. Can I pet ya? Hello. I too will hunt you one day. Resting requires a minimum comfort level. Building the bedroll under shelter meets the necessary requirements. Yeah, I'm dying, so let's take a short rest. Imagine you could do that IRL. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling great, baby. Oh, I wish. I have a hunting knife. I, I could mess you up, bro. I was just posturing. I did not believe I could mess him up. Oh, God, dude, why do you gotta... Oh, Jesus. Oh, don't mind if I do. You mind? Wood bundle. You're doing great, buddy. Thank you. Where are we headed this time? Swamp. Oh, war. I'll read that later. That's what I say, and then I never read it later. I'm not pretending to be somebody I ain't, okay? I'll have you know that I still haven't read that lore. I'm a man of my word. Oh. This place looks dense and luscious. Pike, bro. Puck. I'm so sorry. Now I mispronounced you. Now I have to listen to what you have to say. I did not listen to what he had to say. Acquire bones from a T1 predator and acquire ha 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 AKA it's time to I should eat. It's time to eat. Um I guess I'll have to use the skills and knowledge they've taught me thus far. That actually looks kinda good, bro. Vegetarian burrito. Backstep. Oh ah. Come on, hit me. I'll i I'll stand still. Okay, uh, you, you baited me. But I ain't staying still, stupid. You fell for it. And then I'm assuming... Oh, no, you can just whack him a couple more times for some more stuff. Should probably equip that. Oh, and it has an armor rating with some resistances. Oh, bunch of player stats to increase. Monkey brain like. This is me, campfire. Get your own. You've stolen life to preserve your own. Uh, yeah, I know, Puck. Now we're talking. I guess we get to choose our first world, more or less. Do we want- I do not want the desert. I'm be honest, Chief. It was evident I was nearing the end of the tutorial, because I was now able to choose my abeyance realm, aka where I'll be putting down my roots and use as a general hub while I walk between the realms. And yes, I was a total normie and chose the forest. Sue me. Now what do we have here? Some raw berries. Oh, wait a sec. I don't know. We found a random establishment, though. Oh, is this war? Tell me it's- YES! Oops, missed it. Darn it. Ugh, guess I'll go back and read it. It's nothing personal. I would like to formally apologize to war writers. You do God's work so that somebody else can read it, make a video, and give me the TLDR. What does this relic of the past hold for us? I do love the aesthetic vibe of the game. Gas lamp. That's the name of the theme, apparently. Gas lamp. Okay, I get it. When it when it said it was a byway card, so they mean the literal footprint of the world is procedurally generated to be smaller. <gasps> now we're talking a human chest. I hope it's not made out of human, huh? We got carved wood, porcelain sandstone, and quartz. And I'm gonna come here. <laughs> Balls. A tavern card? <gasps> Oh, now we're talking my aesthetic. Well, thank you. That was rather kind. Now, am I about to kill myself in hopes that I get this ingot? Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your bets in. Do I A, make the jump, B, 
miss the jump, or C, botch it up so bad that there's no defending my actions. I think you'll be surprised by the results. Let's see if you're right. I mean, we win these. I'm going to assume you guessed correctly. They made it very easy for me to see where I made my mistakes. All right, we are headed to the forest, but this time with an abeyance card to seek a realm of minimal danger, suitable for the construction of an estate. Just out of curiosity, how long does it take for the realms to... For the for the realms to uh, uh, align? Oh, wait, wait, that's not even the... What are you? Ah, what's up? What? And just like that... Whoa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See? No thanks. You may now invite other players to your realm. Uh, I don't have any friends. <laughs> I have a couple. My wife's stuck with me for one, so. But I'm also playing this game like a week and a half early and nobody else has access to it, so. This guy is clearly coping. And that's me. I'm so lonely. Oh. Spory mushrooms. What's the worst that could happen? Nah, I'm only kidding. This is where we can get in trouble. Because I can get very distracted making bases. <gasps> it's raining, which means... Oh! That's wonderful. I hope it repopulates. Otherwise, I'm just deforesting the location near my home. Property value is going to go down a little bit. Okay, so it is just telling me for everything I have yet to build, which is very convenient. So now I just need a lot of wood bundles. I do like the building system. You're essentially able to plot out whatever building you plan on making. And then it's just a matter of adding resources to it so that it auto-populates what you've queued up. Very cool. <laughs> oh God, it's not gonna. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall on my base. How much? How much? How much do I have here? Not enough. Oh fudge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, dude. Um, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Uh, and it's really coming down. Okay. Yes, those hollow noises you hear is the hail hitting my head. You've other weather effects to worry about than something as trivial as rain. Although rain does make you wet, and not like the good kind of wet. This just makes it harder to get your stamina back. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> but this umbrella is saving the day. I do like the fact that without the resources, you can still plan out the building. I like to go three by two simply because... I like having my door centered, so I'm going through all of this extra effort just to center my door, but like, I'm not a heathen. Are you some monster that asymmetrically places a window? I meant door, but it's all the same. Spoilers, I should have just made a smaller hut, spent far too much time gathering and getting distracted when a one by one would have perfectly suited our current situation. But we don't do any half measures here. Work harder, not smarter, as I always say. Okay, wait, what? If I just traveled just a little bit further. Defeat them all for a reward. See, like, how is my base supposed to contend against those hanging bodies? Yeet. Wood bundle. All right, well, we need that. Yeet. Yeah. Thanks for all the free wood, stupids. So what do we have here? Ah. Wait, I'm not getting, like, any stamina regen. I'm so tired, I guess. I need rest, but if I just make a stick tent and a bedroll, it'd be better than what I'm doing right now. Whoa! Uh, about that. Oh God, he's gonna chastise me. Why? No gates for you. But funnily enough, I got my some stamina back, so I don't need to make a shelter again to get rested if I'm well rested from death. Kind of a life hack. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after wasting way too much of my time to make this little shelter, we've done it and not too shabby a one either i could use some stairs but for now we jump but more importantly i need to make my freaking bed power nap time <laughs> okay so you're probably wondering why i glossed over the whole electric fence thing well it turns out it's a magical door that essentially said lmao skill issue you shall not pass each landmark needs you to meet a certain gear score to pass and i was far from ready for taking on this landmark oh isn't it pretty it's wow. We, okay, it got dark so fast. What the fudge? What? what? Kind of spooky. All right, let's sleep the night away. Good, because I couldn't see nothing. And I should know what that's like. Well, I have good news. I have crafted us a finer hunting knife. Yeah, stupid. See, I want to take out these deer. I need, I need, I need arrow. Oh, wait. Oh, I hit him. Oh. Oh, I don't know who's what anymore. I don't know who's who. Come here. Oh, what do we have? The company. We have Jess. Wilhelminas? Wait a second. Fishing rod? Does that mean we can fish? Oh, ho, 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 I'm in. Recruitable. Come here. Come here. Come here. Jess. Currently recruited by me. Manage equipment. 
Wow, you have nice equipment. What the fudge? So we might not get automatons, at least not yet, but we get recruitable survivors. They'll now follow me around, help me collect things, carry things, attack things, and more importantly, keep me company. I'm just saying, like, bro, let me out. Ah! Oh, what the fudge? Place don't look this bougie and don't have nothing, you know what I'm saying? What is this? Oh, okay. Come back to that in a couple of years. Some more roasted meat out in the middle of nowhere. Should I really trust that and eat that? Random ink. Ah, screw it, whatever. I feel like this was an offering for a god. And I'm just gonna take it. They're probably praying to me, right? Am I high enough level for this? Uh, well, it's reacting to me. Uh, we got a puzzle on our hands. Activate. It did not like that. Oh, go, Jess. Go on. Hold on. Oh, sheesh. Malefic. Maleficy. Malev. We got a card. Play this card to plunge a realm into eternal night and increase the yield of the bounds resources. Okay, not going to do that here. Get the piggy. Uh. Would. I mean, it, uh. A smash. Just watch out. Oh my god. There you go, Jess. Stairs. Uh-huh. Oh, isn't this place great? Look, I know it's not much. We're gonna need more wood bundles. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you know it, you love it. Lord help me. The amount of trees I fell during this playthrough would make an activist weep. There you go. Now you got an axe. Should I take all your clothes? That would be rude, wouldn't it? Okay, give me your backpack. I didn't have anything. Oh, sheesh. More health, more durability, more maximum weight. Oh, I could have had this as hold. You've been holding back on me, Jess. On second thought, maybe I am going to give you. You know what? I'm going to take your boots and your shirt and your hat and your jacket. And your clothes. It's like, what are you doing here? You get it's not all bad. You get. You get this stuff. I was rocking this stuff. You look great, by the way. Definitely an upgrade for you. So about that tree chopping, though. What do you... Oh, I guess we just want it more of like a plains area. Grassy hills. Jess. Ah, the rain's peaceful, though. If it stops hailing, that would be cool. The rain's coming through the roof, buddy. I, I mean, it's not patched perfectly if you fine you you want to do better then you make it all right i spent a long time make, and you get to just reap all all the benefits okay for my hard work so for, wait do you do you have anything no you still upset i took all your clothes get over it jess okay <laughs> jess please Jess, you want to make yourself useful figure out where i get arrows Wow, we are looking good, are we not? See, look at this, though. Ugh. We gotta start hitting the stomps, buddy. And here's where I would kill them if I had a boat. Unless. Oh, my God. You know, we'll just leave you be. Unless. Oh, come back to me. No, get him, Jess. Jess. Come here. Come here. No! Ugh. So I waited forever until I thought I could hunt the deer. You see, we were able to make a bow, but we didn't have a recipe for any arrows. That left me perplexed. However, the devil's always in the details. What if you use marbles, not arrows? I just re it's a sling bow, not a crossbow. Well, now I just feel silly. Yeah, so I had crafted this sling bow almost an hour before this and just refused to use basic reading comprehension skills because it's a sling bow. Sling. And there was always the option to craft marbles, but I was like, what? why would I need marbles? Are we going to play a game of marbles? Simple rock marble. Ammo. Not my finest moment. Ah! Oh, there's got to be something in here. <gasps> and just refuse to use basic reading comprehension skills. Anyway. Oh. That's picturesque. Hello. Who's the pretty lady? Oh, it doesn't matter, Jess. Thanks, pretty lady. There's nothing really scary at night at this place. It is rather peaceful. Well, that's terrifying. Okay, we're definitely not in high enough level. What does this need? I've been waiting my whole... Last hour and a half for this moment. Let me through. <gasps> ah! Uh! What the 
pocket sand. Ah! I'll help. But this was all you. Candle, candelabra head. What is this thing? Ah! Oh, I thought it was going to explode. Jess, don't give me that look. Okay, because I need you to get in there and face tank. If not you, then who? Me? That's what I got you here for. Oh my god. I, oh. Uh, they didn't think I'd check behind this, but bro, please. I was born in the nooks and crannies. Take that how you will. I love my mom. Anyway. Oh, there they are. Pew! Okay, we missed. You know, this, it, it's hard shooting marbles, okay? Like, you're telling me David was just like a crack shot with this thing? I'm taking Goliath on that fight. Every It doesn't matter how many times you tell me. Aha! We hit one. Oh my god, I killed one. Whoa! Okay, really? Throwing things? How childish. Anyway, let me fire these. <laughs> We're not so different, you and I. Ow, ow, ow! Chill with that. He doesn't know what to do. He's like, hey, what do you mean he's got ranged on us? I only know how- Bro, this dude's dodges are insane. We're right up the bum. Help me! Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm num 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 num. Oh god! What? Okay, they're upset. They're like, bro, share. Y'all got any of that loot? Oh, but now we're in the caverns. Okay, now we're talking. This is where they hide the good stuff. More like the bosses. A so oh, all right. Yep. Get this dude out of here. Get this dude out of here. Get all these dudes out of here. Are we dying? Are they dead? What even is life? Are we ever really alive? What does it mean to live in the first place? Oh my god, Jess is gonna die. Jess, just... Stop. Jess! Oh my god. Jess, we're all gonna die. Stop it! My favorite part about having a companion to follow me around is that I can put all the blame on them. It's always their fault. Doesn't matter what it is. Oh, oh I thought those were bad. I was like, hold up. Button. What's the worst that could happen? Ridiculous! It's perfectly safe! Uh... Get him! Get him, Jess! Get him- get him down one pit! I've got Jess! There you go! You could attack a little faster than that, Jess. I need to use this a little bit more before it breaks so that I get optimal repair with my essence. Okay, and I'm burning. Okay, quick- quick repair. Oh, clutch. Ooh. What did we get? Uh, play this card to seek a realm of middling danger. We get to go somewhere new. Remember at the beginning of the video when the tutorial had you realm walking a whole bunch in between these different places? Well, it's been hours and I'm still just in my abeyance realm. It definitely takes a good bit to start hitting the gear score required to opening some landmarks, which then allows you to start crafting realm cards, which then lets you realm walk. So now we can travel more, but you definitely won't be realm walking too much early on. Our partnership blooms with the seal of a most fruitful requirement. Fruitful. Craft both a forest card and antiquarian card in traverse into a fey portal. <laughs> oh, I can just travel back. Easy. I didn't realize I could have... What the... Well... What just happened? What if I attack him? Immune. Okay. I guess I'll come back. Or maybe you're friendly. I don't really know. You're back on tree duty, so... Get to work. Now we make all these things. Then we get to make the cards. Then we're realm walking, baby. All right. I don't know where you are, Jess. Are you hitting trees? No, of course you're not. You never fail to disappoint me. I feel like my parents now. Are you going to pick up that wood or you just fell in it? I'm assuming you're not going to, so I'll do it for you. Oh, you are picking it up. Never mind. My bad. I was unfamiliar with your game. Little known fact, deers always return to the scene of the crime. It's fiction. Source. I made it up. It's fiction. It's fake. Freak. Ready? Headshot. Fudge. <sighs> it's fake. And we're on the hunt. Oh, got him. Maybe I'm starting to get the hang of this thing. Oh, what is this thing? I don't know, but we killed it. I kind of feel bad. What? What is it? Pew! Imagine. Oh, here we go. What? Fudge. No, don't run away. Come on. 
Oh, it's a little baby. Well, that one almost makes me sad. Well, that looks mysterious and ominous. It sort of looks like, you know that... It's like a cube drawing, but it's like a 3D drawing of like stairs, but it's trippy because like it's never ending or something. We've got climbing things. How do these work? Okay, I could have just gone this way. But uh, no, I like the pick idea better. Uh, what do we got to be here? Ow! What is this? Herbarium site of power. They don't want us here, buddy. Oh, there's a hand. Almost looks like the... Oh, I think it's like the tree crucified it. Here's where we finally start unlocking the basic versions of all the various crafting tables. Obviously, the goal is to get bigger and better improved versions that allow you to craft bigger and better things. But, like I said, humble beginnings. Ah, simple sewing bench. Wait. Simple sewing... Simple I already have one of these. What the fudge am I doing? Now we can make simple mortar station. Yup. Which lets us make flour, uh, ink, pigments, seed. The enchanting table. Realm walkers use uh, enchanting tables to bind magic to their equipment. Also used to craft realm cards. That's what I'm here for. Should I have anything else going while I'm gone? Not a clue. What should I bring for this? Not a clue. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. All right. Antiquarian. A realm of middling danger, settled by druids and rife with fey ruins. And a forest card. And let's get it. Are they going to come for us? Hut, hut, hut. I think we're ready for a middling dangerous realm. I mean, after all, that's how I like to live my life. Middlingly dangerously. Holy Jesus. What the fudge are those things? I don't know, but they look cool. Wait, come back. I want to kill you. I'm heart, or, uh, befriend. Uh, no, I'm going to kill you. Bloodhorn Scion of the what? Okay, he's gone. Oh, hello. What is this? Uh, puzzle core. Oh. Well, where, where are the puzzle elements? I'm out of stamina, just do something. Unless you're fighting your own demons, then hey, whether it be real or mental. Oh, oh, you got two of them held down. Never mind, my bad, Jess. Okay, I think we, uh, we complete the puzzle core. The puzzle was kill them all. Oh. Hey, hi, how are you? Don't mind me. Just killing all your pals. All right, this looks too high level for us, but uh, a man can dream. You can find the front door. Whoop. Oh. Now, what is this? I am the front door. Okay. Spooky. What if I step on? Ah! Ah. Who knew an ominous faded red square would be a trap that spawns more minions? Not me, obviously. All right, Jess. A lot of people here. A lot of... Jess? Jess! Oh, my God. You res me. Jess, I love you. Pull, pull out my... I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. What if I get too close? It blows up. All right, so I guess just avoid the bombs. Avoid the red spots. Don't step on that. If you're curious what's going on here, it's a puzzle where they showed you the order you need to press them. There's in. two, three, four, five. Okay. Thankfully, I could manage. One. I fell. Two, three, four. Oh, fudge. Five. There's another puzzle? I'm going to say yeah. But this one might just be, oh, it might be like a boss or. All right, we killed them all. And we solved the puzzle. See, it's just that easy, buddy. Ooh, don't step on that. Oh, play minor realm cards. This card to increase stone yield, strength, and carrying capacity. No. Move more quickly, leap safely to a great heights, and your stamina more efficiently. Let's do the uh, Thinned Veil card. Oh, Jesus. Should I back up? It's true. Oh, I'm, I, I fall so lightly. So daintily. Portal. Crude portal. Oh. So I can't make my own, like, realm gate or whatever, wherever I want. Well, it said I should take less falling damage, right? I don't really want to find out if that's how that works. Uh, it's uh, pretty floaty. Ah, what's the worst that could happen? I die? Da, 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 I'm Mary Poppins! <laughs> uh, we got a spyglass. And if I use this... Oh. If I ever need to find, like, wildlife, boom. Home, sweet home. 
I feel like I should play some minor cards here then. Especially like the better yielding or whatever. I don't really need to fight too much. The portal's still open. So I'm just gonna hop right back in. Now that we're well, well rested. From what I could tell, the portal will always take you back from your abeyance realm. And when you're in your abeyance realm, it'll take you back to whichever portal or realm you were just in. If you wanted to change that, you'd just create a new realm with new cards, and then you'd travel between that and your abeyance realm. Yo, what up? Jess is getting pounded right now. I'm trying, Jess. I'm still floating. What is going on here? Hey, yo, ma magical forest, dude. You don't want to, like, help out? What's going on here? Well, this seems a little spooky, but... It's an arena. They said if I can conquer the things in the arena, I win. Building over here, building over there. So I've been trying to make my way to this call for aid, which is how I originally recruited Jess. There'll be some realm walker who requires help building something. If you complete it for them, they're recruitable. So I wanted to see if I could get another companion and slowly grow my army of meat shields. What I had not accounted for, however, is just how needy this NPC was gonna be. How are you still here? Oh, is that it? Yep. We spent like the last 50 minutes fighting these dudes. I think it's over. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. Hey, Jess! Jess! If another one spot, I, I don't think I can take it. I don't think I can take it. All right, what do you need for this? 107 sticks, 84 plant fiber, and 137 wood. Bundle? Get <sighs> Hate you. It is done. You better be... First off, I better be able to have two recruits with me, and you better pop off, girl. And this chest must be thick. 28 essence. Okay, I wouldn't define that as thick, but that's okay. Come here, Goldie. You may only have one rec Yeah, so you can only have one recruit, and I just spent the last 30 minutes dropping down every tree in the vicinity to build this stupid tavern. This taught me an invaluable lesson. Screw helping people, it's never worth it. If you enjoyed this video, I think you might enjoy this one. With that said, thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one very well.